How far do you think Dick Grayson would go just to save a child? Welcome to the Complete Story Series. We take trade paperbacks and single issues and we break them down into digestible bites. Then we read it dramatically back to you. All alterations to the panel's text and images are to prevent copyright problems and all art is owned by its respective companies. Welcome to the fifth issue of the Grayson series. This is our continuing story of Dick Grayson, former Robin, former Nightwing, now Agent 37 of Spiral trying to figure out what their master plan is for Batman. And this story begins with a plane crash. Fire burns from the back of the plane as Grayson and Midnighter argue over a dying woman giving birth. What are you doing? You said that if I didn't throw you off this aircraft, you could save her. I'm not the one who kidnapped her, Spiral. Yeah? You're the one who led Argus to us, and you got us shot down. That's when Helena from the pilot seat chimes in. The Argus EMP hit everything. Not only are our engines down, but all of our systems aren't responding. So are you gonna help her or not, Midnighter? Shut up, Grayson. I have the head. Just hold her still. Grayson looks down at the poor woman, worried. He knows this isn't going to end well, and the fact that they're going down isn't helping the situation. As smoke fills the air around them, Midnighter tells the woman to push. He can get the baby still. Then that's when the ship hits the ground, hard, and Grayson realizes how this story is going to play out. No, 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 I'm losing the mother, I'm losing the mother! No! As they take into account all of the supplies that they have, Grayson is holding the crying baby. Helena tells them the bad news. The closest town is 200 miles south of their position, across the empty quarter, a desert with a hot and blazing sun. We're dead, Midnighter says, comforting. We're not dead, Grayson tells him. I found formula and bottles in the mother's things, plus we have some water and a few MREs, Helena tells the group. It's not enough. We're dead, Midnighter says, once again reassuring his group. If we're dead, she's dead, Grayson says, looking down at the baby. So we're not dead. We walk. And he starts the trek across the desert. Day one, there isn't any talking, but as the sun beats down on our heroes, Midnighter does drop his leather jacket. Then Helena hits the ground, and he goes to help her up, discovering that she was injured in the plane crash. Day two, Helena's injury starts to get worse, and they are already hitting the end of their water supply, but Grayson won't give up. This child has to make it. That night, over their campfire, Midnighter explains the situation. The child has the heart. It's full of energy. Spiral and Midnighter have been looking for metahuman enhancing organs for their respective organizations. This child has the one that they all came for, a metahuman enhanced heart. Grayson and Helena's mission is to get the child back to Spiral, but as Midnighter tells him, give me the child. With that energy, we can survive this and we can make it all the way back. Give it to me or I'll take it from you and I'll win. I can see what's coming, remember? I can fight with your style, Midnighter tells Grayson, but Grayson ignores him. That's when Helena takes a knife to his throat. Yeah? Did you see that coming? Grayson just sits there holding the child. Shh, baby girl. Day three, Helena's injury gets the better of her, and she falls down in the desert. Grayson runs over and he tries to give Helena the water, but she stops him. The water is for the baby. Promise me that that water will only go to the baby, she says. We went for her. We took her. It's all her. You have to get her back, Dick. So Grayson takes his shirt off and he pitches a tent for Helena allowing Grayson and Midnighter to continue on. As the sun begins to set, Midnighter taunts Grayson once again. You think you're so high and mighty saving that child? What do you think Spiral's gonna do with that child when you bring her back? You don't think they'll let her keep the heart, do you, Grayson? Grayson spins around and cold clocks Midnighter. Hurry up. There's a lot ahead and you're slowing us down. Day five is just Midnighter taunting Grayson. We should fight. And Grayson ignoring him. Day six is Midnighter continuing. We should fight so I can win and take the baby. Day seven, even Midnighter is getting tired of himself. We should, we should. And he falls in the desert. Dick Grayson, I have enhancements, I have powers. What do you have? And Grayson leaves the water for Midnighter. I have her. As of day eight, it's only Grayson and the child. And he tells a story, a story about his dreams as a child. Day nine, he keeps telling that story, but he is finally beginning to lose himself to the heat. And day 10? Well, day 10, Grayson went as far as he could, and he collapsed, holding the baby up still. That's when a nice couple happened across him. He made it. He was rescued, and so was the child. A week later, back at Spiral, Grayson and Helena were still in recovery, and the head of Spiral was going over the report. He was sad that they lost the heart. Supposedly, it was lost in the crash, and it's unrecoverable. Oh well, on to the next enhanced organ. But the truth is, the child is fine, being raised by a loving family elsewhere and the heart is still with that child. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this story. As I've said before, I love the Grayson arcs, and I hope to continue doing these Grayson stories for you. Trust me, this whole enhanced organ thing is building up towards something, and the ending is really awesome. If you enjoyed this story, make sure you check out the other videos on the screen right now, and I'll see you guys next time right here.